VMware, vMotion, DRS, what are they? Now you may be a tech yourself, or a systems admin engineer, you may already be using vMotion, you may actually have DRS enabled already in your environment without actually knowing it. Why don't you let us know in the comments, uh, what are you doing for work? Are you in tech? Are you looking at getting into tech? Are you just wanting to learn more? Are you just inquiring, inquisitive? And also, hey, subscribe, please, please, please subscribe. Really would appreciate it. Now we're not gonna go through the details about what VMware is. I mean, look, I'm completely assuming that you already know what VMware is. Is. If you don't know about VMware, we've got a video about what VMware is, what ESXi is, what vCenter is, what vSphere is, all of that sort of stuff. It's sort of foundational. You need to know a little bit at least about that. But essentially, we've got VMware, you've got a ESXi host, or you've got a vCenter environment, and you've got a whole bunch of VMs sitting on your ESXi host. Now, generally, you're gonna have maybe one, maybe two, maybe three, maybe a hundred. ESXi hosts, they're physical servers running this thing called the hypervisor, running ESXi, and they're all being managed by vCenter. Potentially, vCenter has all of these ESXi hosts in a cluster, and that's great. You want to have those in a cluster or multiple clusters because it's going to make the whole experience around vMotioning and DRS much easier. Now, we've got a VM. Uh, you've got ESXi host A and ESXi host B. ESXi host A has a VM on it. You want to relocate that server. Maybe you've got a file server that you want to move from one to the other. So you need to get that VM off that ESXi host and move it to the other ESXi host. Now what you would have to do previously, go and you would shut down this VM. You then would export this VM you then would go to the second ESXi host and then you would import that VM that you just exported. It's a manual, annoying, slow process. Introducing vMotion. vMotion, brilliant, absolutely brilliant sort of technology that's available here. And vMotion lets you move a VM from one ESXi host to the other while the VM is actually running. How crazy cool is that? You've got a server that's actually running that's doing stuff. Well, you don't even have to shut it down. You don't even have to shut it down. Now, of course, to make that thing happen, to make all that magic happen, the ESXi hosts need to be part of a cluster. They need to be, you know, the same sort of CPU models, families, that sort of stuff in the background. We won't go into the specifics around how to make sure that the both ESXi hosts are compatible, but as long as they are, you can get a VM move from one to another using vMotion while the VM is still on. DRS is like the cherry on top, right? It's it's like vMotion is super cool, and then the DRS is like super awesome. Awesome is better than cool. What this does is it automates that entire process. You, if you're if you're an admin, you're an administrator, right? And you're responsible for looking after ESXi hosts, you want to make sure that you're not overloading ESXi hosts, right? So maybe you've got an ESXi host that can comfortably run 10 VMs on it and another host that can comfortably run 20 VMs on it because there's a lot more CPU, there's a lot more RAM on it, right? There's a lot more grunt on that host. Then you've got ESXi host number one. Maybe you've got a virtual server that is a file server we talked about before and you just need to give it more resources. But the physical server, the physical ESXi host is already struggling. It's struggling for resources. So you as an admin, you wanna make sure that you don't lose anything here. So you wanna migrate that VM from one post to the other, do a vMotion so that you free up some of the load on ESXi1 and then ESXi2 can take on some of that load and some of that resources. So you're sort of balancing the resources between your ESXi host. And that's good for an administrator to do, to be monitoring that, to making sure that you're not overpowering some of your hosts. Because at the end of the day, those VMs are gonna to start to run really, really bad if you're not actively monitoring them, making sure that they're okay. That's essentially what you would do manually. DRS thinks about all of this and does it all for you automatically. It will automatically move, migrate vMotion VMs between hosts based on a number of things, based on the load. Maybe this VM is running very, very hot. There's a lot of users using it all at the same time. The CPU is going crazy. It's using up a lot of RAM. This ESXi host is going, I'm struggling right here. DRS sees that and goes, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to DRS it. I'm going to vMotion it over automatically without you even 
having to lift a finger. It does it all for you automatically. There's other stuff as well called storage DRS where it does the same sort of thing. The data store where the VM is sitting is filling up a little bit. It'll automatically move it to another data store to sort of free up some of the space. VMotion, DRS, let me know in the comments whether you're gonna go and try this yourself. Why don't you let me know whether you've tried this yourself and you've had really bad or really good experiences. And YouTube machine, here we are. Subscribe, click on the button on the bell. Really would appreciate it. Thank you for spending the time. We'll see you next time. Bye.